Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Jones, uh, fellowship trained Mohs surgeon at Billings Clinic. It's Jared Lund, uh, another fellowship trained Mohs surgeon here at Billings Clinic. We get asked many times, what's the difference between Mohs surgery and uh, general surgery or the old uh, plastic surgery technique? Uh, Mohs surgery is a very precise method of treating skin cancer. And in the, uh, in the general surgery uh, method, the uh, plastics, the old uh, standard plastic surgery method, if you have a skin cancer, let's say on your back or on your cheek or something, it's cut out in an ellipse like this, and then uh, the specimen is sent to pathology, and the pathologist is going to cut it like a loaf of bread. And then each one of those slices is removed, put on a microscope slide, and they basically look at the crust of that slice of bread to determine if the cancer has been removed. When you get a skin cancer, what typically happens is it pops up as a lump a bump a crust or scab. But what's really going on is this skin cancer is sending root-like extensions down below the skin. We don't know how many there are, where they go, but we know they're there. Now the old plastic surgery technique used to say, well, it looks that big, I'm going to take a big piece and try to get it all. The problem is they remove too much healthy tissue in the process and often leave roots of the cancer behind. In the Mohs technique, which was developed by Frederick Mohs in the uh, late 30s, early 40s, uh, the this, this same skin cancer then is cut out with a narrower margin in a shallow bowl-shaped specimen. If this is your skin cancer, we'll say, well, it looks that big, and we'll take a piece right around it to what looks to be the cancer, but we take it with a very special shape, and because of the way we shape this tissue, it makes this procedure so accurate. What we'll do then is take that piece, go to the lab, and while you wait for about 30 minutes, we'll take it and analyze it underneath the microscope. And we section it in our own lab like this. So we are able to examine the lateral margin and the deep margin at the same time on the same microscope slide. Using this technique, virtually 100% of the margin is examined for the persistence of skin cancer. If there are roots, we'll be able to see them. We'll know exactly where they correspond on your skin and we'll know where to go back and take more you can see we're only taking more where you need it. We then analyze that again. If we see another root, we repeat that process until your cancer's gone. 